Well, uh, these plants are grown with the, uh, I'm growing these with the Kratky method. Uh, these are cucumbers. Um, I believe it, these are straight eight. And uh, I did buy the little seedling, seedlings. I think they had maybe the two, the two first leaves and the two second leaves on them. But it's just uh, growing in a five gallon bucket. And that does have the, uh, I just put fish water from my aquarium in this five gallon bucket. And uh, I created this little PVC support for them. And uh, and I just got a cup here, put it with a hole saw, created a hole, and so it'd be a perfect fit. And uh, then I filled the cup up. I got this little cup, filled it up with a mixture of gravel, perlite and um, uh, that other uh, medium let's see is it perlite and it begins with a V verse verse similar I, I can't remember exactly it begins with a V but they use it commonly in hydroponics and uh, that's what this medium is right here and then I'll lift this up and you can see the root system down in there just put holes with a uh, regular drill so the roots could escape out of the cups and then the roots go down into the bucket and I've been uh, taking some of the water out just so the ends of the roots are down there. And they're just suspended in this water. Now this is, has been getting direct sun on the bucket. I've been concerned about that. This particular bucket's doing fine. Doesn't have any algae in it. And, uh, but it has been in the 90s and I was concerned about the temperature of the bucket. Though, because I know a lot of plants like their roots uh, more cool but um, it's been okay like this one for instance I put a trash bag around the bucket just to provide some shade now this is an uh, eggplant this is an eggplant I'd, and again I did buy this as a seedling which had like two or four leaves on it uh, and it's with the same method and five gallon bucket those are the roots down in there and uh, I saw this technique originally with uh, I believe it's his name is Bobby with uh, MHP Gardener MHP Gardener it's got a bunch of videos on there with the lettuce and um, and then another gentleman with the uh, I believe from Oregon had the green had the uh, peppers one time where he used peppers in a in a coffee can uh, with the fish water as a nutrient solution. Now these right here is zucchini. All this is zucchini. Uh, I do have zucchini coming through on them. There's zucchini up in here. Now this one looks like it needs a little, could use a little shot on, on some of these. I will say like on these zucchini, when I see some of these leaves a little bit yellower than I like, um, I have put in just a slight bit of miracle Grow in the water and just mixed it around. And this, but I've, I've changed the water in these buckets. Um, a couple times, maybe two times in a month.
when I look in there and I see the water maybe a little bit stagnant looking or I, I've seen some kind of um, problem with the leaves I flushed out the water and cleaned out the bucket and put fresh water from my aquarium these are uh, tomatoes and you see the little guys coming through right here already and again this is now I do have a shade on this one so again it's the five gallon bucket you can see the root system on these it's going down there into the water And that's the same thing with each and every one of these. It's just a, a cup, a plastic cup that I put holes in for the roots. To secure the roots is another tomato. And here's what I'm going to get uh, today. I just wanted to make this video because I saw this uh, pepper is already ready to go these are the sweet yellow banana peppers get this guy right here come on little guy don't want to cut into the plant nice there we go. So again, doing this by the crack key method. A little spider there. But uh, it's just five gallon bucket, like I say. Put the uh, fish water in it. Changed it a time or a time or two. Just keep looking in the bucket, make sure that it's good, clean water. And I look at all the leaves of the plant. And if I see anything like it seems like the leaves are wilting or have yellowing any bad effect, I just uh, throw out the uh, pour out the water, rinse out the bucket, put more fish water in it. One time, I um, put a little bit of Miracle Grow, but I think that was too strong for some of them. And um, since then, I've just I realized they just uh, they just I think they like that fresh water. Uh, from the tank every couple weeks here's some more tomatoes tomatoes just doing fine we've got a lot of blooms on them this is a uh, actually a watermelon this is a pan this right here is just gravel and I have just a little bit of water in it from my aquarium and I just put these seedlings zucchini cucumber watermelon seedlings and they're just growing in gravel uh, with some fish water in the bottom that's all that is and those seedlings are just growing in that and then I'll go ahead and transplant them to buckets but anyway, just wanted to make this video and uh, let you guys know what the, the possibilities and what can be done, what, what I've done here. I've seen, like I said, various videos online of uh, growing in this static solution, non-circulating hydroponics where there's no pumps, no electricity, water's not moving, the plant is just... Uh, suspended in the solution with the tips of the roots in the solution <coughs> and uh, most of the roots out getting oxygen that's what's happening here I am using the fish water these are five gallon buckets some of them I have shade to prevent algae and I noticed that helps some of the plants do like that uh, 